Welcome, everyone. Welcome to EA Play, coming to you live from the Novo in Los Angeles. It's always cool to be part of something new. This is a brand new event, a brand new venue, and we're kicking things off with a new type of show. Now, we all know you have an insatiable appetite to dive deep into the games you love. But we could never give you everything you want in 60 minutes. And let's be honest, even if we could, you'd also probably rather see and hear it from the community anyway. We get it. So consider this next hour to be a taste, a quick glimpse into a bunch of great stuff that we have in development. This is us opening up the door, welcoming in our players, influencers, media, and partners. We're inviting you in to play. We're surrounded here by hundreds of game stations, Thousands of you will get hands-on with our games this week. Unfortunately, more of you won't. But the content creators here are the ones who can tell you what they see, what they feel, what they like, and even what they don't. And that's fine too. We want your feedback. We want to know what you think. Just as long as you take some time to play. Of course, EA Play is a global experience. So here's a twist. Someone had this crazy idea of hosting EA Play in not one, but two locations. And then, I'm pretty sure it was that same person, had an even crazier idea of seeing if we could join them live via satellite. So let's welcome Peter Moore and hundreds of our friends from London. We're good, we're good. Hi, Andrew. As you can hear, we've got a great crowd here in London. We're at the iconic Hammersmith Apollo Theater. We've got 100 game stations back there. I've got 600 of my best friends. What a great looking group they are. We are gonna have a blast tonight. Back to you. Thanks, Peter. We'll be back with you in just a bit. Let's quickly set the stage for what you'll see over the next hour. We will take a look into the future of EA Star Wars games. BioWare will take us further into the next intense chapter of the Mass Effect universe. From EA Sports, we have both competition and story. And of course, Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2 are both here today. Right away after this show, we will actually host the first ever live streamed 64 player Battlefield 1 match. Now, here's a question for you. Did any of you see the Battlefield trailer last month? I know you did, and I know a bunch of you were thinking, is this real? Are there actually going to be airships and horses and trench knives and shovels? So two things. One, yes, and two, you can see it for yourselves. Not in another trailer, but with an hour of gameplay live streamed around the world just an hour from now. A few thoughts before we get into the action. Just a decade ago, there were about 200 million game players in the world. We thought that was a lot. Now there are 2.6 billion and growing. We are all part of a global phenomenon. At its core is play, something that is increasingly important to our lives today. For many of us, games are vital. That's what drives us to make games and continue building, creating, innovating, and exploring. We know just how important it is. We see it as our responsibility to help people on all corners of the globe experience play. Because we all play to live. This will be a fantastic three days, so let's get started. First up is a great friend and the mastermind behind one of the industry's most compelling franchises, Vincent Pella. Thank you, Andrew. Well, everyone, it's great to be back uh, near E3. Um, so, Titanfall introduced millions of players around the world to the fast, fluid, pilot and Titan gameplay that is at the heart of Titanfall. And with the release of Titanfall 2, we're excited to welcome PS4 players to the franchise for the first time. Uh, we'll start off with a look at what players can expect out of uh, Titanfall multiplayer.
I love it. So, Titanfall 2 builds on the signature pilot and Titan gameplay to deliver a more robust experience, backed by the depth and variety our fans have been asking for. This includes six new Titans, each with their own unique combat abilities, expanded pilot gameplay, more customization options, and a deep progression system. And of course, super smooth gameplay that we've always delivered. Um, prior to launch, we'll be holding a multiplayer technical test designed to help us stress key features of the game. To play the multiplayer test, go to titanfall.com and sign up to get all the details. Now, for the four people that didn't see the leak this morning, and if you know this, sing along with me. Um, I'm excited to confirm single player. So we'll be adding a full offline playable campaign to Titanfall 2. It'll be crafted to dive deeper into the Titanfall universe, exploring the unique bond between pilot and Titan, taking full advantage of the movement and combat to deliver a feeling of being unstoppable together. And now here is the debut of the single player trailer for Titanfall 2 coming October 28th to PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Thank you, everyone. BT-7274. Your data recorder says your original pilot was killed in action. Correct. My original pilot was KIA. I am now linked to Rifleman Jack Cooper. Who authorized this? We had no other options. What are your protocols? Protocol 1. Link to pilot. Protocol 2. Uphold the mission. Protocol 3. BT! Protect the pilot. Welcome to Denver. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis as the 2016 NFL season is underway. Hold up, this the game that shows us. Pioneers started on my corner like the corn bush. Had lining up the block like a blue was saying live fast and die young is what they told us. Three seconds left. The Broncos fighting for their playoff lives. The snap, hold, it's blocked! T.J. Ward blocked it! And in the most improbable of ways, Denver is going to the playoffs! That is Madden NFL 17 for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and as always, the game looks incredible. This year, Madden lets you take your team all the way with the most balanced gameplay to date, new ways to play in franchise mode, and an all-new commentary team. It personifies everything we love about sports. Passion, intensity, and of course, competition. Competition in the world of gaming is esports, and it's absolutely electric. Elite players, 
a global stage, and of course, big paydays. From the first Madden Challenge 14 years ago to today's competitive battlefield scene, and of course, the FIFA Interactive World Cup, EA is no stranger to the power of elite competition. But the spectacle of esports barely scratches the surface of competition. It's a select few that become pro gamers. That is why EA is embracing a new approach to competitive gaming. We want to make stars of all of our players. With new competitive modes and weekly online contests in our biggest franchises, we're making competition fun and meaningful for everyone, regardless of their ability. As such, I'm excited to announce three awesome new ways to compete. Challenger events, premier events, and EA major events. With our Challenger series of events, we'll be giving the community an ability to be more easily hosting and running their own tournaments. Next up is the Premier Series. These are large-scale live events that we'll host with partners from inside and outside of the gaming world. And finally, there are EA Major events. These are marquee live events run by EA on a global stage. The best players competing for the biggest prizes. And it all starts this weekend at EA Play in Los Angeles with our first EA Major event, the Madden NFL 16 Championship. In a moment, we'll welcome ESPN's Stan Verrett to the stage in LA, who will introduce you to the eight finalists. But first, let's meet two of the fiercest Madden competition out there, Eric Problem Wright and Zach Serious Mo Lane. The greatest of all time is the guy to beat. This guy just wins. Being the best in the world often inspires awe, reverence, respect. But when you're the best in the world in a video game, everyone thinks they can take you down. Every day on Twitter, there's people coming in saying that they can beat me. Usually, I just respond in, in, in the nature of something like, you know, Floyd Mayweather doesn't fight, you know, Joe Smo off the street. I am the greatest of all time when it comes to Madden football. I'm here to win, and whoever's in the way is just, you know, another person that's going to have to get laid out. I'd like to believe that I'm the best Madden player in the world. Give it up for serious Mo! If anybody can be the hair at the problem thrown, a lot of people feel it's going to be serious Mo. I kind of dedicated my life to this, you know what I mean? When I was 16, I was like at the top of my class, but I would like go to school with like no sleep from being up all night playing Madden. Being a full-time video game player is hard for a lot of people to understand. It is tough. It is tough to do, and I'll play as many hours as I can just to really get ahead of the, the competition. Both Problem and Serious Mo have a claim to the top of the Madden world, and the issue may be settled at the Madden Championship. It's a tournament that started with a million players and online qualifiers and ends this week, live in Los Angeles, with $50,000 at stake. These would-be rivals are actually close friends, but don't expect them to take it easy on each other if they meet with a title on the line. Oh, well, there's no question I'm going to win the Madden Challenge this time around. I wish him the best of luck, but, you know, I got to beat him. It started with a million players competing online, and now only these eight remain. The best Madden NFL players in the world. All world-class competitors. They're at the top of their game, but only one is going to be the winner. Uh, let's, let's meet one of the guys here who appears to be a little injured. This is Serious Mo. You saw in the piece. What happened? Uh, I was racing a friend, didn't have my shoes tied, fell down, broke my collarbone. <laughs> didn't have your shoes tied? <laughs> Are they tied now? No. Uh, no, they're not tied. All right, we don't want you to fall off the stage. All right, uh, best of luck to you. Best of luck to all of you guys. Now, it's going to be an awesome competition. If you can't be here at EA Play to see it in person, you can tune in. You can watch on Twitch, YouTube, or tune in to ESPN3 to watch all the action live, or join us at ESPN2, 6 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday for the finals. Now, let's send it back to Peter in London. Thank you, Stan. Looking forward to some great action this week. Let's also take a moment to talk about the year ahead. 
I'm excited to announce the Madden NFL 17 Championship Series. Next year, everything gets bigger and better. How much better? We're putting up $1 million in total prize money. Now, it takes full-time dedication to be the best, and we want to reward our elite players for their skill and commitment. The Madden 17 Championship Series is a full year of high-stakes action that spans four EA majors and more events to be announced soon. But it's not just Madden. At EA, competition is at the heart of everything we'll do. And we'll have more news about more events and more games to share soon. So stay tuned. And here's to a great year of competition ahead. But now, let's go back to Los Angeles. Here's the general manager of Bioware, my good friend, Aaron Flynn. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Um, at the heart of Mass Effect Andromeda is a question. How far will we go? In the game, you are part of an ambitious expedition, leaving the Milky Way galaxy to help humanity find a new home. You travel millions of light years to the Andromeda galaxy. You wake up. Now what? Everything is new. New planets, new species, new technologies. You must be among the most courageous, the most daring to go on this journey. Because this is a galaxy where you are the alien. How far will we go? Well, that question is also at the heart of the development of Mass Effect Andromeda. The Mass Effect trilogy is a huge part of our history and the lives of many of our fans. It was an amazing story, but this is a whole new adventure. We're building on the things you love about Mass Effect, amazing stories and gameplay, and now we're letting our imaginations run wild. This is a bigger adventure filled with a whole new cast of memorable characters and more freedom than we've ever given players in a Bioware game. And for the first time, it's all powered by frostbite, which means you're going to see, hear, and feel Mass Effect like never before. That's our promise to you. So how far will we go? Well, we can't wait to share more with you this fall. Here's a look behind the scenes at Mass Effect Andromeda. Thank you. Our survival as a species has always depended on our drive to seek out the undiscovered, push beyond our limits, and expand the boundaries of our known world. With Mass Effect, we are going further than ever before. To Andromeda, to build a new home for humanity. Imagine distant star systems with remote and hostile planets. Teeming with alien life and civilizations. Worlds where adventure, danger, and the unknown are waiting to be discovered. We've created a universe that you will lose yourself in. A whole new galaxy for you to explore. All right, how's everyone doing? Okay, I hope you're loving what you've seen so far. We've still got a bunch more ahead, including FIFA, Star Wars, and of course, Battlefield 1. But first, let's have a practical conversation about play. Many of these games we're talking about today are months away. Meanwhile, I'm sure you're all playing games that you've already invested a ton of time in. So our commitment to, is to support the community. It's a commitment to continue delivering new content to enjoy with your friends. 
In just the last year alone, we delivered more than 300 game updates to our most popular games. This year, that number will be even higher. And for EA Play this week, we have our biggest collection of content updates ever across both console, PC, and mobile. We've also got free trials to help you discover and try something new this week, like the Outer Rim expansion for Star Wars Battlefront, or check out some new games through EA Access for Xbox One and Origin Access for PC. Both have more than 20 great games available in the vault, and they are free for everyone to try all week long. Now here's one more way we hope you'll play this week. We have a new program called Play to Give. It's a big deal for us, and it's unlike anything we've ever done before. We're bringing together in-game challenges with charitable donations. First, the charities. At EA, we celebrate charitable causes that encourage a more diverse and inclusive world for all of us, as well as those that inspire and assist future game makers through STEM education. So we've partnered with five great organizations for EA Play. The UN He For She Initiative, National Center for Women and Information Technology, Special Effects, Code.org, and Code2040. Now the challenges. There are five of them that are designed to celebrate our player community this week. Some examples. In Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline, there's a new objective that's based on helping out your teammates in need. We're celebrating strong female characters in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes as you deploy a special squad to battle against the droids. And in FIFA Ultimate Team, if you can win with the Play to Give Cup, you receive an untradeable rare Mega Pack. It all comes together at the end of EA Play when we donate $1 million in celebration of the importance of play. Now let me send it back to Peter for some big news on FIFA 17. Peter, over to you. Let me check, how's everyone doing? I think we're winning. Thanks, Andrew, and welcome back to London. Now, like me, I know many of you are excited that we're in the middle of a summer full of football. England looked good last night, till about the 92nd minute. Um, but to be here in England at the heart of football, there's no better place to show you what's next. You'll see in a moment just how far FIFA has come from its debut in 1993. This is a revolutionary year for FIFA, for the most popular sports game on the planet. This is FIFA 17. E -E -A sports. It's in the game. But you will. My name is Alex Hunter. And just like you and every other kid that's grown up kicking about a football, I've always dreamed of playing on the biggest stage for the best tactical minds in the game, alongside the greatest names. Playing in the park with my mates, I've already pictured it. Taking flawless 50-yard passes from Beckham, sending him Messi with the perfect through ball. Burying it in the top corner like Rooney. Now, I have the chance to make that dream my reality. To pull on a Premier League shirt and maybe even one day step into the center circle of Wembley. Three lions on my chest. This is the start of my journey. I know it won't be easy. But if I can perform on the pitch, make the right decisions off it, and take advantage of every opportunity that comes my way, this is the start of my journey. And you're all coming with me. 
We've heard a lot about the talent of this young man, Alex Hunter. He had a wide choice of clubs to sign for. Today, his journey begins as he makes his Premier League debut. I haven't seen a kid coming out of the exit trials generate this much interest in years. I never expected anything like this. Yes! A goal for Alex Hunter on his debut. You're in the big league now. You have to raise your game. You need representation, you call me. Wow! Check this place out! <laughs> just don't get too carried away. You can disappear just like that. Life doesn't always give you what you want, does it? I'm ready. You'll get your opportunity, Hunter. Just get me out of there. Oh, we might as well pack this season in now. What was he thinking? I want to stay and fight for my place. I won't let you down. Alex Hunter, an outstanding goal. Welcome to the Premier League. This young man has everything. We're going to make history. Incredible, Hunter! My name is Alex Hunter. You don't know me. But believe me, you soon will. So that's amazing. What you just saw is a brand new experience in FIFA 17 called The Journey. You'll live your Premier League story through the player we just met, Alex Hunter. That is the power of Frostbite, FIFA 17's brand new engine. You'll live in real football worlds, and you'll meet characters full of depth and emotion. And maybe nobody shows more emotion than the managers on the sidelines. And as such, for the first time ever, Premier League managers are in the game. So that means if we're launched today, we'd have three of the most legendary managers in FIFA 17. Check them out. Pep Guardiola, set to join the league. The legendary Arsene Wenger at Arsenal. And of course, my favorite of them all, at the best club in the world, Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool. Now, these managers are the best. These three are the best, second to none. More than 1,500 wins between them, with 10 league championships, and two... And Did, did I say three? I'm not quite sure. Ladies and gentlemen, Jose Mourinho. So I apologize. I, I, I don't write the scripts here. I don't do the game. Jose, of course, is in the game. And it is a great honor for Jose to join the EA family to be in FIFA 17 as the great manager now, of course, of Manchester United. We've rendered you in the game. I don't know uh, if we can have a look. Can we, get it? can we get Jose up in the game? But I'm, I'm still upset with you. You st you're still upset? What about yeah. you? are? You're going to be yeah. more upset when you come to Anfield this season. We are, t we are 20 of us. You choose three. Just three? You leave us 17 out. I know. I'm, I'm not sorry. happy with that. Yeah. See that Clint? Uh, first of all, he looks great. Secondly, I can tell you on behalf of all of us football fans, it's great having the personality and the skill and the talent that is Jose Mourinho back in the Premier League. And thirdly, I can't wait to bring them to Manfield and show them where real football is played. Having said that, having said that, it is great having you in the game. I know your son's a big player. Yes, he is. Who does he play as? Here's the question. Do you know? I don't know really. I just know that I can wake up 3, 4 o'clock in the morning with his noise. Yeah. Does he spend money on Ultimate Team that you're aware of? Uh, yeah, I control the, the debit card and yes. Well, I think we've all seen your contract, so I think there's plenty of Ultimate Team business to be had. 
So it's going to be great having the managers in there, and it's even more important to have Jose Mourinho, one of the great personalities of football for the last 20 years and all of the things that he's done for this game. We couldn't be more happy to have you in the game. I know your son needs some early code for the game. I think yeah. I can take care of that. So, but ladies and gentlemen, please thank Jose Mourinho for joining us here. Welcome. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Jose. Thank you. So thank you. Bye-bye. I didn't call him the special one, he doesn't like it. Okay, we've shown you a lot today, but we're not done. It is my pleasure to introduce you to FIFA producer, Aaron McCarty. Aaron. Well, thank you, Peter. Thanks. It's great to be here in London, uh, but for me and for the development team back in Vancouver, it's amazing to finally be able to show you the journey. Now, the best thing about the journey is you're in control of your story off the pitch. But in FIFA, just like football, the most important thing is what happens on the pitch. And that's especially true in gameplay. We're bringing complete innovation to the game this season. We've got four big transformations that let you own every moment, and we're bringing more control than ever before. Here they are. We've rewritten set pieces to give you creative control over every dead ball. We completely overhauled physical play. We built a new intelligence system so our players are smarter and more active off the ball. And we're giving you new ways to create chances and finish in front of goal. And those massive transformations are inspired by some of the best young football talent in the game. Let's meet them now through the lens of FIFA 17. Okay guys, a new season, a fresh start. Today is about winning. In football, this is the most important thing. When we win, we make the fans happy. They are why we train. They are why we are here. So remember what we need to do. Be strong on the ball. Make intelligent runs. Be ruthless in front of the goal. And own every moment. The time has come. You are ready. The fans are ready. Now, go show them why we are the best. Great strength there from Azar. What a run from Royce. Martial, hard and low. That is world class from James Rodriguez. Make them happy. Make them sing your name. When you play for the fans, that is when we win. So about this time last year, we surprised you with something unexpected. With Unravel, you met Yarny, a tiny little character with a huge heart going on an epic adventure. You also met Martin Salin, a passionate and creative game maker from the Cold War studio that brought Yarny to life. We knew Unravel would steal your hearts because it stole ours. But it also showed us something profound. When we first saw Unravel, we saw a game that we knew deserved the world's attention. It deserved to be played. We also know that there are more out there, more studios like Coldwood, more games like Unravel. Passionate developers telling amazing stories, creating spectacular games. We are committed to working with small developers, finding these great new games, and giving all of you a chance to discover their magic. So today, we are very excited to announce EA Originals. Our EA Originals program is about three things. Firstly, it's about taking first-time experiences that are unique, gorgeous, innovative and memorable, and bringing them to the world. Secondly, it's about supporting small developers and hel helping them make the most of their games. Now, we'll seek out a few projects each year for EA Originals and partner with them through the whole process from development to marketing to publishing. 
And lastly, it's about funding and offering a level of security. Now, making games is hard. It's a hard business. And these small developers have risked themselves to develop a new IP and created games deserved, and great games deserve to be played. Now, check this out. With EA Originals, we want all the profit from these games to go back into the hands of the developers so they can keep innovating and creating into the future. Now, we've already begun with EA Originals, so please welcome to our stage Klaus Lüngeled from Zoink Games in Gothenburg. He is here to take you into the beautiful world of our first EA Originals game called Fear. Hi, everyone. Wow, it's amazing to be here, joining you all at EA Play here in Los Angeles. It's, uh, well, it's really huge for me, and I'm super excited to be here. I run a small game studio in Sweden, in Gothenburg, called Zoink, and we are about 20 people brought together by our fascination for new approaches to interactive storytelling and art. And recently, we've been on a journey with a very special new project. And thanks to Patrick and EA, we're here today to bring you along with us. Let me introduce you to the world of Fee. At its heart, Fee is a personal narrative about our relationship with nature. It's a game without words, a celebration of our longing to be one with the world around us. It's a story that reminds us that everything in this world is connected, living in a delicate balance that is constantly under threat. You awaken as a young cub, all alone in a dark forest glade, and you have no idea of who you are or how you got there. But as you spy from the treetops, you'll soon come to know the extraordinary creatures that live in this forest. And you'll find that they are all connected through their own language, a language of strange and beautiful music. See, every animal, every breathing creature, and even the plants, they all have their own unique song. And by learning them, you can connect to the forest, to understand it, to be part of it. Each song you learn will help you reach new parts of the forest and take you ever closer to discovering the secret of your own kind. But you are not the only newcomer to the forest. The silent ones corrupt the forest and spread their silence with each step. As you evade them using stealth and cunning, you will uncover their terrible purpose. This is a game full of discovery, conflict, and relationships. But as you explore the world of Fae, we're not going to hold your hand. The game won't tell you where to go, what to do, or how to think. We will set the stage and invite you into the forest for your own personal experience. An experience that will leave you scared, amazed, and delighted. In the forest, your discoveries will be your own. I'm very proud to now show you more about the beautiful world of Fee. Thank you.
it's great to be here to talk about our Star Wars games. Right now, we have teams across the world creating a wide range of Star Wars games for all types of Star Wars fans. These teams are being led by some of the creative minds who have made some of our favorite games of the last decade. And now they're channeling their talent and passion to bring you all new experiences that will span many corners of the Star Wars universe for years to come. Let's break it down. Already today, you can play Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, Star Wars The Old Republic, and of course, Star Wars Battlefront. Each of these games are live and getting fresh new content all year long. Next year, you're going to get a new installment of Star Wars Battlefront. Led by DICE, in collaboration with Motive, we're building on the foundation of the first game. We're listening to our players and adding more of what you want, including content from the new films. Then coming in 2018 is a new action-adventure game from Visceral Games. Amy Hennig and team are creating an original narrative in the Star Wars universe with new characters. And beyond that, we've got more amazing projects in store, including one from our partners at Respawn Entertainment. They are exploring a different Star Wars era in their own third-person action-adventure game. We can't wait for you to play these games. I can't wait to play them myself. Here's a special peek behind the curtain at the EA Star Wars games we're working on with Lucasfilm. Thank you, and may the force be with you. The Star Wars universe is growing day by day with the comics, the films, the games, you name it. And to be a part of that and to work with Lucasfilm is incredibly exciting. So what we're really trying to do at EA is cater to different areas of the Star Wars universe and create different game experiences that are tailor-made for those fans. With Star Wars Battlefront, we wanted to really be able to bring people into the world of Star Wars like never before. What excites me now is bringing in more characters, more planets, more environments, more eras. And that's why we're super happy to have both Motive Studios and Criterion contributing in a significant way. There's no point in making something in the Star Wars IP if you're just going to do what's been done before, right? So it's a fantastic opportunity for Motive to really tell the world what we're about. And we're going to bring that to Battlefront, which is, it's crazy. It's incredible. As a studio, our promise to gamers is ultimately gameplay first. We all demand that the game has these huge wow moments that translates really well to the Star Wars universe. We're going to deliver that Star Wars awe like fans have never seen before. With Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, we talked a lot about how we grew up as kids with Star Wars, and we collected toys, we'd bring them over to a friend's house, and we'd set up these battles where sometimes it was what we'd seen in the films, and sometimes it was just a random mashup of stuff that we wanted to play from our own imagination. Our aim is to bring in characters from all the films, all the TV shows, and even beyond. Star Wars is what got me into role-playing games in the first place, that storytelling you did as a kid with your, your Star Wars action figures. With Star Wars The Old Republic, the choices you make, the freedom you have, that's really at the heart of a Bioware game. And beyond The Old Republic, there are so many stories that we still want to tell. Our goal has always been not to just sort of make a game that is set in the Star Wars universe, but to really tell an authentic Star Wars story. And that's actually a hugely different thing. How do you ground the new and unfamiliar in the familiar? You need the guidance of someone like Doug Chang to show you the way. One of the great joys of working with Amy is she is like a, a film director in many ways, because she is telling her story, and I'm helping to realize her world.
Ye has some really exciting plans in the works for the Star Wars portfolio, and what we're doing is bringing in talent from across the industry and letting them loose. We have completely different games on the horizon, and I just hope that every fan walks away going, wow, I never thought they were gonna bring my Star Wars fantasy to life. Thank you, Jade, and thank you to all our studio teams working on Star Wars games today. So, here we are. One last game. Let's talk Battlefield 1. You might be wondering why I'm up here again. <laughs> well, my journey with Battlefield started over two decades ago, when DICE was still a small indie studio. We were dreaming about conquering the world and sharing our games with more and more players. Now, I've been involved in each and every part of this series, and it's humbling to serve a Battlefield community today that has grown to more than 60 million players around the world. That is truly incredible, so thank you. It also means that we have a great responsibility to deliver on the promise of Battlefield with every game. We have to take creative risks, to pioneer. So we knew from the start that Battlefield 1 could be no ordinary game. Now, let me tell you, a quick story about the inception of Battlefield 1. A few years ago, two guys in our studio in, at DICE in Stockholm, Stefan Strandberg and Martin Kopperhed, kept telling me that they had the concept for the next Battlefield. And each time we met, they showed me more and more ideas from the team. Now, I'll be honest, I was skeptical. I was, like, really skeptical. And I told them, I don't, I don't think we have it yet. But they kept pushing, they kept coming back. And then one late night in Stockholm, they brought me a very special pitch. An absolutely mind-boggling pitch, unmistakably battlefield, and set in a very unique take on World War I. Right then and there, that's when we knew we had to make this game. So when you stand here introducing a game like Battlefield 1 to tens of millions of dedicated players, you know the risks were worth it. So that was just a piece of our EA Play trailer, and you'll get to see the full version in just a bit. But first, I want you to know that our team at DICE in Stockholm has huge ambitions for Battle 1. We've set out to deliver an epic and unforgettable experience for our players. And the result is a dynamic experience where no battle is ever the same. But as talented as our DICE team is, it is you, the Battle community, that powers the team. That is why at world premiere last month, we revealed Battle 1 alongside our players. We want the community to be part of this every step of the way. And today marks another exciting milestone in the road to Battle 1, our first in-depth look at gameplay. And to reveal that, I'm honored that we have players from our community here to lead the first ever live stream of Battle 1 immediately following the press conference. And our host, Jose Sanchez, is with a few of them right now. Thanks, guys. I am excited because today we are going to see actual gameplay straight from Battlefield 1 under the command of two solid teams with players like Jamie Foxx, Zac Efron are going to be on those teams. Are you guys pumped for tonight's event? Yes. Jazz. Can't Jazz. wait. Dude, stoked. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm excited, and coming up in a few minutes, we have the Battlefield Squad's live stream kicking off. 64 players going head-to-head, -head, 32 v 32 in a best-of-three matchup, and I can't wait to see wins. Good luck to the both of you guys and your respective teams. Now let's go back up to Patrick and find out exactly what makes this game so epic. Thank you, Jose. 
So only in battle one will you engage in some of the biggest battles ever seen, as you squad up in epic multiplayer matches with up to 64 players. Now that's going to be really cool to watch. And in just a few minutes, you'll get to see how no battle is ever the same. Through the power of frostbite, intuitive destruction, dynamic weather, and a variety of weapons and vehicles makes this the most immersive and dynamic Battlefield game ever. So let's start by talking destruction, a hallmark for Battlefield. In Battlefield 1, destruction is more intuitive and natural than ever. This creates unlimited gameplay possibilities as you impact the world around you. And next, dynamic weather. Weather will now change unpredictably, so you, can, you will need to adjust your tactics based on the conditions. So playing the same map on a bright day or in heavy fog or rain will impact what you see or hear, so you have to adapt your playstyle. And finally, an impressive variety of weapons and vehicles add to the range of experience you'll have on the battlefield. And most notable, the introduction of the ultimate vehicles, the behemoths. The Great War gave birth to some of the largest vehicles ever made, and Battlefield 1 gives you the chance to control these beasts. Take control of an airship, armored train, or a battleship to dominate the battlefield across air, land, and sea. An all-out war has never felt so epic. When Battlefield 1 launches on October 21st, worldwide, you will experience destruction, weather, and a variety of weapons and vehicles that ensure no battle is ever the same. And for those of you who are Battlefield insiders, you get an early access to experience this firsthand during the open beta later this summer. All right, in just a few minutes, the Battlefield Squad's live stream will begin. But first, let's take another look at Battlefield 1. Thank you. We're going to change the world indeed. It looks absolutely amazing, Battlefield 1. So that's our show. We have Battlefield 1 playables right behind me here in, Lo in London. We've got Titanfall 2. We've got FIFA 17. We've got Madden 17. We here in London are going to have a great time tonight. We're here through midnight. It's going to be phenomenal. Andrew, I'm sure you're going to have the same there. Back to you in Los Angeles. Thanks, Peter. All right, so that's our show. And now the way I see it, I'm the only thing standing between you and an hour of Battlefield 1 gameplay. So let's keep this quick. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Thank you to all of you here in Los Angeles. And of course, thank you to everyone in London as well. We're just getting started here at EA Play, so stay with us. There's a lot more to come. And now it's time to play. Thank you. Yeah.